well we didn't go very far I'm like <laughs> the next stoplight outside of my house this um right it's abandoned they like abandoned it it's gonna be a parking lot soon so uh, I figured I'd get some pictures of this might be uh, better to come back here in a little bit because the sun might be higher and there might be some trees on it because um, it is like as you can see it's like super bright so I'll flip it around and I'll show you what I'm looking at so hang on one second so this is it this used to be a Rite Aid and they're building like an old like senior thing I realize now less than when I did this why it sounds so much better because I was so close to my mouth the microphone versus like when I hold it out so this might be a pretty cool shot like thinking like this straight on half of it lit in the shadows something like this but vertical so we'll see sky is perfect this is like this light is perfect right now um, there's also like this auto shop right there I might get a picture of the garages and things like that when I finish here so let me walk around I'm gonna take some pictures here and then you'll see them like right now here we go the good old auto service center here's this orange cone and uh pole i was talking about this might look kind of cool from like uh right up on it something like this you know what i mean we'll see with this little tree here there's an old mercedes but it's in like the the uh shadows and then we got this building here which is a huge like retirement home which is kind of kind of cool i'm sure the traffic by my neighbor is gonna be awesome now with this but uh, I got this corner here, blue corner with the white on top, and then do like a flat on thing with the garage before these people get to work. Cause it's, again, sorry if I'm like starting to sneeze and it's like freezing out here again. So, but there's this here, it might be pretty cool if I can get it. The problem is I don't like, I like shooting old cars, but I don't like getting new cars in with it. Like if this was by itself or if this was like in front of the garage, That'd be, that'd be awesome. Um, so again, this, this yellow ranger is kind of cool too. Sorry for like swinging this camera around. Uh, I took somebody's advice and I am shooting at like 4K 30 and not the like highest thing the GoPro does because it's apparently it looks better. So we'll see if this looks better, let me know. And I got this microphone again, so we'll see. Anyways, let me go uh, take pictures here. Y'all see those uh, now. back again i don't i don't think i actually uh hate the photos i took there i don't think they're that too uh terrible we'll see this mattress is kind of cool couch whatever this is i wish this cars weren't here there's bike right there so we'll see somebody said they like this uh pov style stuff i, I think i do too because this is like super easy for me and i'm having like a lot of fun doing it um I'm thinking about trading in the GoPro though for that DJI one. I'm gonna come back and get this van another day. Hopefully it's still here. I like to get it. See, like if this Chevy wasn't here, this Traverse, whatever this is, and this van was, and this light was just a little more over with that, with the tower in the back, like just a little frame like that, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I mean, this is all in the, in the dark over here. So I'm gonna hop out, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna see where I can find. So I'm gonna ride down the road. So hang on one second, I'll be uh, back somewhere better than this. Bye. Well, don't go nowhere, bye though. This is gonna be a quick one, uh, cause I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Um, some alarms going off here at this used car lot. So I'm just gonna show you quickly around, take the pictures and then uh, hop up out of here so here's the pictures from uh this place and if you don't see me then 
come come looking for me. I'm in Portsmouth, Virginia. Just to give some context to those and that little clip and then that like uh i'm like not in the greatest part of town you know and uh when you pull into this like used car lot and there's like an auto shop back there there was like a suzuki motorcycle and some stuff back there that i saw but i guess he has like a motion detector and started ringing and it looks like the place is like attached to his house or his house is is that or like he lives in there um so I was like, well, I don't want this, somebody to come out with like a shotgun or something. So I'm like, I'll just go because this isn't the, the greatest part down. But I, I'm down the road now. Um, there's like some cars in front of this Dollar General that I want to take a picture of. So I'm waiting for them to leave. And, um, you know, I, some people would consider this not the greatest success this morning. I mean, lately, this winter hasn't been that good. But I think it's all like in context of what you want out of uh, getting out of the house and taking photos and things like that. And for me, this is the success because I'm, I'm out of the house, it's still only 8.30, so I got like the whole day left on Sunday. And uh, I get this up and out like this afternoon. So I, I feel like this is kind of a, a success, I guess. We'll see when I get to see the photos, but I feel like I'm, I'm pretty happy with the few that I took. And you know, I think everybody's in this for different reasons or in hobbies for different reasons. So you just kind of got to be in, um, be true to what you, what you want out of it. Don't don't you know? Don't make it more than what it is. You know what I mean? So uh, for me personally, I just like to to get out and shoot. So that's why we're here. So, anyways, let me um, get out. I'm gonna go see if I can't get a picture of this Dollar General. There's a boat place behind me too. I think somebody's there, and I'd hate to like go looking through all these old boats and. Um, get shot that would not that's not really how i want to spend a weekend um so yeah let me go see if i can't take a picture of this i'll flip the camera around and kind of show you there's definitely a window here that used to be like probably like a pull-up drugstore or something like that it says something in when i can't see past this dumpster um so i'm gonna get out and walk around and kind of see what i can get here probably nothing too crazy but it might be kind of cool so here we go check this out it's actually kind of better than what I thought because it's like a cigarette sign. So I don't know how this is going to show up in the photo, but uh, here's the Dollar General. See how these cars are here? I think somebody's in there getting out. So we'll see. Then people are there in front of the store, so I'm probably not going to be able to get that. And then there's the boats and stuff like that. So um, yeah, let me uh, let me grab a picture of this. Try to grab a picture of the um, the Dollar General kind of see what we can get and then i'm gonna kind of get back on the the other side of town so here we go check these out those few shots were kind of cool so oh they're gone uh, no they're not never mind uh, let's see what i can find around here i think somebody's here but I want to check out these boats. This would be a cool, cool photo of this boat here. But not really just this, but um, these boats around the corner and this budget boat sign. So I don't know if they're open. The poor man, the poor man's boat yard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So let me grab a picture of these boats here and then a picture of this budget boat thing. Um, you can kind of see what I see. Let's, uh, so um, check these out. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna grab some pictures of these boats and a picture of the boat sign. So I'll be right back. Sweet. 
Well, you saw the bow photos. They were okay, I guess. Well, you know, I, I left there. I'm making one more stop. I'm behind um, Walmart. <laughs> uh, this is, I like this style or places like this just because I can just kind of do what I want to do and I don't have to worry about things. And I got some colorful boxes here, shipping boxes. So what I'm going to do here with these is, um, this is like, I love, I love this green, blue, yellow, I like this pole in the background. I have a picture from a long time ago that I took on film, um, where they were like, for some reason they had them all filled, like lined all the way down and it looked cool. Cause I had like one light pole over there, this light pole over here, kind of sticking up behind there. So I'm going to get this here and then, um, I'm going to kind of work my way down that way i don't know this area over here is kind of kind of whatever there's a coals and stuff back here sometimes there's some other stuff back here some people sometimes people park their cars like overnight and things like that so i found some kind of cool cars back here this might be cool here like up on it closer with this green and yellow with the pole out the back so i'm gonna take some pictures of these You'll see them, and then I'll kind of see where else I want to go. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here I want to get. Probably that pole, just that singular pole. I got to get one of those. I mean, I, I like have a collection of them. So yeah, let me uh, let me show you the photos I take of these cool boxes here. pretty cool i uh took a couple pictures of this long way i got this like yellow with that too so i don't know how that's gonna turn out um let's see if i'm missing anything i always like to like come back and like kind of double check see if i see anything last thing before i leave no but this is okay I, see i like to get them from the side you get them head on actually we'll grab another one like that maybe Something like this. Yeah, I like that too as well. Let me grab a, a photo of actually just like that now um, before I head down this way. And then this would be kind of it. I'm gonna head on home and play some Armor Core 6. Um, and then I'm gonna try to beat that before Final Fantasy comes out. I have a, I have a backlog of things I wanna finish. I think I want to beat all the Souls games. I think I've already said that. But that's like definitely on top of my mind. Um, I like the Dark Souls games because they're like real life. Like you feel like you can't do something and then you, when you do, do it. And there's like no greater feeling in the world. And that's why Dark Souls is uh, a special, special game to me. So anyways, let me uh, get done before I get on a rant about Souls-like games and Dark Souls and uh, take a photo of this. So check this out here now. Boom. Right, right the second and I'm gonna go that way. So don't, don't, don't go nowhere. So this will be the last stop and then I will, you know, do like a little outro uh, type thing. But I've taken, I've taken many a photo over here in this area here. I always love this green box and there's a little cart next to it and the yellow, yellow, green, white, the blue skies and things like that. Um, same thing with this, there's a toilet and his shopping cart right there. I wish it was a truck shadow wasn't on it, um, but that's pretty, that's pretty funny. Um, and it's things like that that makes like coming back to the same spot a few times kind of worth it. Um, Cause you just don't know what you're gonna 
they got to find. Uh, I really enjoy that. Um, so yeah, let me uh, let me take some photos of this. They're like unloading this bread truck, so I'm not gonna go down there too far. But um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> that toilet that is cracking me up. All right, so check these uh, check these photos out here uh, now, and then I'll be right right you back. Back in the car uh, again. So this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is like the highlight. This area right here behind the Walmart. I'm really glad I stopped by the toilet and the, the, the shopping cart uh, and the shipping containers were mint. Um, hopefully they turn out pretty well. So, but if they don't, you know it is what it is. But that's why I like coming back to the same places over and over and over again because you just never know what you're gonna find. Even something as simple as like behind the Walmart. And I had like different compositions of the same place. So it's not going to be nothing new or whatever. But like I was saying before in another video, I think, um, if I didn't, this is how I kind of do things. I'd like to have like a set of like 40 to 50 photos. And I kind of pluck and pull from those being my like favorites. And um, that's kind of what I've done with my Instagram account lately too, is just kind of archive everything. And I'm just going to do single photos. They're absolutely tanking and not doing great, but... Who cares? You know, really, honestly, it doesn't affect me um, or change the way I feel about them. So it doesn't matter what, you know, how the algorithm, whether I have a set versus a single photo or, you know, how many likes and stuff like that. That doesn't matter, you know. And um, as, as time has gone on, you know, the less I'm on there, the less I really care. I think YouTube is going to be my main platform from now on because I just like, I like this. I like I feel like um, it's giving me an outlet to like kind of say what I'm thinking in the moment while I'm taking photos, but also kind of like being able to show everything that I take. Maybe not everything, but you know, because there's a lot of duplicates and things like that. Um, but it's let me it's let me express myself in a kind of cool way, and I really really like that. And I really appreciate you watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good jazz. Hit the people say hit the little bell because you get a notification. I don't do that for any of the channels I do, I always just go, I don't know why, I go by the subscription tab when I use YouTube, I watch a lot of YouTube, um, and I don't really seem to miss things, see, I don't think you really gotta hit the bell, you know, I put something everywhere, so, anyways, uh, I did, I don't know if I, I think I cut it out because my microphone was like towards the back, so I don't think I'm gonna use that clip because I don't think it's gonna sound good, anyways, I did get a new job, got a promotion at work, which is cool, um, it's a lot more responsibility. It's family. I, if you don't know what I do, I um, am a practice manager at a doctor's office. Um, so I work for a big healthcare organization and I manage a do doctor's office. So I'm getting a doctor's office. It's like family medicine, peas, and a diagnostic center instead of just family medicine. So it's going to be a lot more work. I have some really cool people I work with. Um, so it should be okay. But I don't think it's going to affect this too much. Um, it actually might force me to get out more to kind of get more of that work-life balance between playing video games, photography, and uh, work. And now that football's over, you know, I kind of got my Sundays back. Sundays, Monday nights, Thursday nights, Saturday for college football. <sighs> Anyways, so uh, thanks again for watching. I cannot thank you enough. I really do, really do appreciate it, especially like those that uh, make it to all the way to the end like this. This is like very cool of you i started putting dad jokes at the end um and i like when people like comment that they seen a dad joke that makes me uh that makes me feel good that you stayed all the way to the end um even though that these videos are complete complete train wreck um there's far better people at this but this is me and that's what i this is who i am so i can't can't really change it um i guess things will get better in the future i do i did I think I probably said this again in this video too. I'm repeating myself, but 
I kind of want to get the DGI um, Ozma or Pocket 3, Pocket 2, whatever Pocket they're on, um, versus this GoPro, because you get the, the if you get a creator one, you get the little microphone with it too. Um, and I think that'll sound better than this. And I like this, this, this right here for uh, me is awesome because I put this GoPro in my back pocket and I think you could put the other Osmo pocket uh, in your pocket as well. I just realized the name, but um, I think that'd be kind of cool because I like I like this and that with the GoPro I don't have to worry. I just throw in this like side car and I can actually have a camera on my chest again with the strap versus carrying a tripod around. So I do like this. So hopefully, hopefully you most everything was pretty positive last time. So I assume that this is pretty okay. But I'm rambling, so I'm going to bounce off here and uh, go edit these videos, play some video games, have some cereal for my morning, and I hope you have a good week. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you. See ya. Bye.